Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome to my channel! So after 500 years, I finally managed to record my first ever design video! Woo! For those who's new to the community, my name is Harriet and I'm the face behind Cola Photographs, where I'll be mainly designing bold yet minimal brand and packaging designs based off of storytelling narratives. So the reason why I decided to restart my YouTube channel and make it more design focused is that I would like to give myself a massive challenge in the coming year where I use YouTube as a record for not only my personal growth but also my growth as a designer. I like to gain more confidence in the way I speak, the way I design and how I present my work because I believe that being able to articulate your ideas very clearly and confidently is a very key important skills when it comes to presenting your ideas to clients. So yeah, I hope you're as pumped as I am on this journey and make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you like to keep updated with my latest design progress. Basically fun stuff you wouldn't want to miss out. Without further ado, let's jump into the juicy part of this video. <laughs> For those who's already following me on Instagram will be pretty familiar with the Into the ADC challenge where I'll be designing different brands and packaging based on songs name within the 26 alphabets. So for this week, we'll be doing Day Fly by Dean featuring Sully and Rap Museum where you should definitely check out the song here. I can't, I can't put the song, the song in, the video, in the video because, because copyright. <laughs> As we approach winter, we tend to feel a bit dreadful and down because of longer nights and shorter days. The cycle of ambiguity continues on and on and day by day, which is the main reason and focus of the brand that we'll be designing today. So this week, we'll be designing a supplement brand that helps to combat SAD, aka Seasonal Affective Disorder. Just a disclaimer, more research is needed to be done to confirm the actual link between using probiotics and helping with mood improvement, with the bettering of our gut health and strengthening of our immune system. So make sure you go and seek actual medical advice if you need further information. Here are some of the main steps to designing. First of all, it's very important to identify who the brand is for, its purpose and its brand values. For Dayfly, we're aiming towards the 21 to 35 years old who get stressed with low productivity and energy level throughout the day as they're affected by SAD with low motivation. The brand aims to build up the immune system and eventually help boosting mood during the winter season. Its main brand value is about healing, comfort, euphoric, and giving a sense of relief to the users. After identify our audience and our brand values, it's very important to do a competitor analysis so you know what has already been done and what is already out there. So you wouldn't want to be the second copycat. And you understand out in the sea of same. So let's commence our competitor research. Okay, so we're on Google right now and I'm gonna search for other probiotic brands out there and then we can see what is already out in the market okay so i'm gonna fast forward this bit and i'm gonna do my research okay so now we're back and we have a huge mood board with different probiotic brands that are already out there so let's see what are the commonalities between them so you can see like most of them will have a brown pearl bottle because they're trying to prevent the sun sunlight to react to the pearls because most of the pearls are photosensitive and you can see like the shape of the pearl bottle is kind of like common they're either the twisting top pearl bottle or some of the cylinder column shape or a box shape which inside you can see the typical twisting pill bottle. As for color wise, they're quite preservative because like most of them are black, white, brown, or like navy blue to make sure that this is a health supplement brand. So they're more conservative in terms of color use, or they can go either extremes. They could go very like colorful in terms of selling like, oh, gut health, kids, immune system, jelly, Gummies, like the, those kind of vibes. For some of the newer probiotic brands, could be more creative in terms of their layout. For example, this one, you can see rebalance 
like the typography being rearranged on top of the pearl bottle, which is quite fresh to see. Also this one, you can see some um, illustrations in the lower bottom of the column, which is quite fresh. But most of them will have a typical label around the bottle, which is quite usual thing to do for most of the packaging for the supplement brands. And it's very important to have the right hierarchy of information on the call out because the main reason for this packaging is to inform the consumer what they're actually taking in because it's very important because it's a type of supplement brand. Make sure you sell your function very well and also know what the actual product is for. So these are some of the points that I like to remind myself when I design Dayfly. We're currently jumping onto my Pinterest board, as you can see in the Dayfly inspo. So for color wise, I am aiming to use gradient for this project because I like to see a transition between day and night as well as from winter to spring. So it's more like a gradual process rather than a clean cut. And as for the typography, I tend to be attracted to some of these ones. We're showing here is like more stretched out and fluctuating. And it's not like a clear cut, but it's more flexible in a sense. Same with this one or this one. So it's kind of like or tangled together. And there's a lack of clarity between the different types. Um, same with the other visual inspo that I included here. It's more like trapped between a layer of plastic. You can't see the future very well, but it's there. It's there. It's just you can't get over that boundary between winter and spring just yet. It's like a transitional phase and it takes time to be more comfortable towards this transition, which is the some of the main keywords including transition, lack of clarity, and ambiguity. So here are some of the visual inspo that I created on Pinterest. For those of you who are interested in my pen brush creating process, make sure you give me a comment down below and I can make a video separately on this topic. After getting a clearer picture of the look and vibe we want to go for, I am moving forward to my next step, which is sketching. Make my mini notebook. Oh, I love my sleeve. So here you can see that my notes are actually quite messy, but I prefer being messy at the preliminary stages. I've got a primary design of using a recyclable paper packaging wrapping around a pill bottle. As based on my research, I found that most bottles are actually amber brown shaded, which prevents the exposure of direct sunlight as many vitamins and pills can be photosensitive. Though later on, I put aside this idea as it is quite uneconomical to print a colored paper wrapping which would then be stripped off and thrown away. This would lose the entire purpose of putting emphasis on designing the external packaging. From this point onwards, I've got an alternative idea where instead of using a tinted bottle, what about using a more matted, frosted bottle so that users can see easily what is inside the pill bottle, but at the same time, forming a protective layer which filters direct sunlight. Here is another experimental idea of what the packaging could look like. We've got a box with a circle cut out in the middle, which symbolizes the sun. Through the circle, you can see the name Dayfly that is stretched across on a bottle, with the logo exposed and seen from outside. It also responds to the element of light, which symbolizes the use of light therapy to leverage symptoms of SAD, blurring the boundary between the inside and outside. With the bottle being frosted, you can see the color of the supplement pills seeping through as the pills are taken in, as if the energy level in the bottle drops while being transferred to the user. For this part, we're going to type up the text of the brand and I'm going to see how it looks when it's like lower caps and in all capitals. I have a feeling that all capitals look going to look fit more fitting for the bottle design because when I stretch it out, it's going to be fitting the exact shape of the bottles. For this purpose, I'm going to eliminate the lower caps. So I'm going to fast forward this bit in order to find the right font to use. Next part, I've got a column of potential fonts that I'm going to use. 
Um, for now, I'm going to eliminate some of those and pick my final two to three fonts that I'm going to use for font manipulation as well. So let me fast forward this process. And yeah, I'm just going to make a copy here. And uh, this one. Mm, I want to be a bit bolder, but not too bold. So see some of the references here. It's kind of like fancy type. I can picture it to be a sans serif though. So I don't want to be too formal or classy in my design. Mm, this one's too wide. It's too skinny. It's too skinny. I like this one. This one's okay. It's too big. This is quite nice. Mm. Do you guys get the same feeling as I do? Like when you look at something for too long, you kind of get like in the days and then you just can't focus and it's just that word looks so weird to you after a while. I get that feeling too. Trust me. Hmm. I kind of like this, but this is too fancy to my liking. It's kind of like, you know, those cocktail glass wine. Where it's like skinny at the bottom and then very wide at the top. So what I've got so far is the little D at the top, which symbolizes the moon or the sun as well, because it's a tiny one that's like up there. And then one thing that I really like about this um, typography so far is the switch between the crossbar of the A moving downwards and the F moving forward. So it's kind of like a shift in rhythm. If that makes any sense. For the second alteration, I want to use the warp 2 in order to manipulate the words into more like a flowy feeling. If not, I can use the inkbrush tool and then try to join the letters together. For this specific project, I'm searching for pictures of the dawn and dusk on Unsplash and with the eyedropper tool, I'm extracting specific colors from these visual references, which I will later create gradients with. Here, I'm using the mesh tool on Illustrator where I eyedrop the range of colors from my color palette onto different points of the mesh. By toggling the anchor points and handles, you will find the right medium between a smooth and unique gradient. So have fun playing with this creative tool! After figuring out what to put as the front of pack callouts and the hierarchy, I'm placing some mockups of the box packaging and pill bottle as my canvas and use them as my working tool. Here, I'm experimenting with two to three alternative designs based on different layouts in order to find the most appropriate one that resonates the most with the central value and purpose of the brand. Are you ready for the final brand reveal? And we're back. So how are we liking the supplement brand of Dayfly? Question of the day. How are you coping with this long winter? Are you an early bird or do you work better when the sun goes down? Leave me your comment and I'd like to know your answers. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to know more about my brand and packaging processes. Until then, take care and I'll see you next time!